sidekick or a leg breaker sometimes. That just fucking sucks. Dude, this is, that is so fucking lame. Ew. Go for the scary move, get hit, punished by a 20 frame scary move. That's why you need one of your own. That doesn't change the problem. No, it evens the playing field a bit. Not really. Because I'm just not scared of... Like anything you do on a on like a thing, like if I I don't need to, I'm not too scared. Eating more than maybe a hundred and like twenty something damage. Sure, but if I bite on a faint, right? Especially that spinning, which eventually I'm gonna have to care about it. I eat a flute swing, and on your host it confirms jar bash. And if I have something similar to that, the most you're eating is a sidekick, and that's if you don't like early avoid. You're getting a way better. You're getting a way better punish for something that like, for basically the same setup. Yeah, like but that. your solution is do nothing about it. My solution is to do something. What do you mean, do nothing about it? Yeah, like you're essentially saying, well, I just won't have my own. Like, I have no, a gun. that's not my point. My point is, I'm not Do you talking have the about gun, though? the utility of it. I'm talking about the difference between Forsaken and getting hit by it and a windfall having to deal with it. Yeah, but it doesn't even matter here, because I don't even have to deal with it in this scenario, right? Because you don't have it. That's my point. No, but even if I did have it, the risk-reward is still on your favor. It doesn't really change much. You, but it's so even worse. I'd rather just keep my utility. I'm dead. Like that shit is not happening to you. Not all the time. It's never to happening to you if you're paying attention. Not. not on windfall, it's not. On a late duck, like if you go for like the late part of spinning high kick, it can happen to windfalls, but it's not even. I'm not gonna. I don't want to compare it though, because it's not even close to the comparison, because it's not consistent. But it's not a never scenario. I mean, that's true, it's not a never scenario, but it's so inconsistent that it's unreliable to worry about, right?
That was good. Nice. Are you reading that or are you reacting to it? What? The rollback fuss. Um, depends. Sometimes okay. I, I react, sometimes I, I know you're going to do it. Yikes. I thought you would be late on your buffer. Forsaken. Ladies and gentlemen, people say the style is strong. Hanger, I think that's copium. I think you're coping. I think it's strong enough. I think it does what it's supposed to do. That's your idea of strong, I guess. Certainly if you made it stronger, it'd be OP, but... <laughs> well, I, I, other than I giving I it more do that. stamina on other I than I giving it a it. little more stamina than on parry, you would probably just break the class. Like, if you buffed parry... My controller? No. Okay, I'm good. It's done. Oh. It be broken. You good? It's my fault for... You think we're just what? No, it doesn't, dude. It's six active frames. Fast cross leg breaker is not a break point. Ow. Oh shit, no, that's not good. Oh, okay, I see. That shit really confirms, dude, like consistently. That shit tilts me so much. Like, why does the flute just confirm Jarvis consistent? It's the wildest shit I've ever seen. It's like not even like a soft confirm either. Like, I cannot parry it.
Fuck it. Forsaken. Alright, that's enough for me. Because I think what you're doing is like you you're acknowledging that there's an uphill battle and you're saying fuck it I'm gonna do this uphill battle my own way and it just makes things worse I don't know um because I think you had all those tools are really good but I think you need a balance of just both or at least one right yeah because I I agree utility is great but if everything is about utility over, well, you know, the other thing is earns. a lot of his deck functions similarly, right? Like you're in back left, you're gonna play the same way as you're gonna play in bottom right. You're in bottom left, that kind of plays pretty similarly, except now you can't mash. Uh, Top right is a little bit different, but not very much, right? So. Yeah, in all your stances, I essentially look for the same thing. And it causes a lot of the... Oh, yeah, I can just, uh, you know, like, I get, for a lot of the times, I, I do a feint to dodge, and it just covers <clears throat> so much of what you're trying to do. Because they all kind of do the same thing at the exact same time with similar tracking. Yeah. And I mean, I understand I think on all, the front. all your fast openers are fast horizontals as well. I understand on the front of like evening out the damage output, right? Because you can do faint, you can do any faint into back fist, and I'm eating that, right? Like I, I understand it on that front point, but. I just don't agree, like, for the windfall matchup specifically, I just don't agree with it because the, that, 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 that similar tool to, is not going to work the same way. It's not going to give me the same amount of, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the same amount of, uh, I'm not going to reap the same benefits, right? It's not going to, it's not going to be comparable. So I don't see why I should gut. Uh, you're not good at uh, anything. I don't know. Like, it just feels like gutting to me. I don't know. Gutting what? Like, what are what exact? And not just the moves, but what function are you gutting? The function of when I'm on pressure and I read that he's gonna, you know, avoid into buff or something, and I know it's gonna give me a sixteen. The function of being able to do that comfortably without having to worry about what stance I'm in, right? And getting the max output I can get for it. Let's do it this way. Let's compare it to my deck. You can, all right. So in my deck, you can still do that, right? So, you know, liver knee, they avoid it, and you can still buff or punish with cleaver, right? Cleaver, you can still buff or punish with cleaver. Face back fist, you can still. Buffer punish with face back fit, right? And you have some of those things too, right? But now I have a top right that nobody wants to block that gives me instant scary stamina pressure and mix up. Um, and I can tap block you to death, or I can try to, anyways. I know that eventually you will break my guard, but I have a lot more time to figure something out than if you had something like spinning high kick. Uh, that's what I was telling you last night. Like, yeah, that the whole the string with uh, liver, uh, cleaver, what is it? Cleaver crushing liver. It's scary, but it's not yeah. a it's not an immediate threat. Yeah, and you should you can keep cleaver crushing liver, right? But you know how that functions. Like, that's better. That's a better setup than the hook or back fist bounce knee, right? Because you have better buffer punishes 
Um, you have better stamina pressure. Uh, and it's just going to be easier to make people move. Because nobody wants to block Crushing Palm. I, I think he can keep his front stance. I just think face back just is kind of... It's not really needed in this deck. It doesn't... You don't really use it. No, not really. Because also, also, if you're worried about buffer punishing, right? You have Bounce Knee as a reset. You can always yeah. buffer punish with reset Bounce Knee. Right. And then you give up... You give up having a 20 frame in back stance, which can give you a good faint punish, right? And that faint punish is going to matter. Like a true heavy faint punish. Um... But you have to sacrifice a heavy on parry there. Right? If you want all if you want to always be able to buffer punish, you have reset bounce. Right. And you can do reset bounce knee into in this deck I would consider flute. Right. I guess you could do Drunk Smash anyways. You can still do Drunk Smash. You can have an annoying bouncy Drunk Smash loop. If you, if you like it. Um, and that, that true heavy faint punish is going to help you a lot. And then what I'd probably do is either... Like, Chin Palm Pushed Elbow is actually safe, so you could do that. Um, you do Chin Palm Eye Poke, that's safe as well. Um, just depends on what stance you want to go to. Right, if you're- if you want... Buffer punish function, you have it with reset bounce knee. Now you need other tools like a heavy, a consistent heavy faint punish. Yeah, I can yeah. see that now. And then, especially, you know, you can agree that people in this game are super reactive. Yes. You, sh you should want to take advantage of that. In that deck, you, you, you're not really taking advantage of it that well, but well, at yeah. all. If there's a reactive person who's disciplined on uh, not buffer punishing, I mean, not, you know, yeah, not buffering. Yeah, not, not buffering. Yeah. That's going to really suck. And there are people who can reliably, you know, not buffer, only take punishes when they know they get them. Max actually pretty good at it. Uh, Moe's pretty good at it. Irfan's pretty good at it. Healy's is when he wants to be. Um, Boo is very good at it. I think Boo is the best at it. You know, they're out there. It's so hard to punish that nigga sometimes. Yeah. You can't punish him sometimes. Yeah. I know. That's the it's better disgusting. way of saying it. It's disgusting. So having a having a reliable faint uh heavy faint punish. So, you know, like a drunk smash stance would probably be best in your bottom left for what you're trying to do. Um I mean I still prefer flute as a move for many reasons and but it kind of breaks your top left if you do flute. And then you start having a bunch of other problems. So Drunk Smash is probably best for what you're trying to do. Um, I think you're, you're trying to hide the flaws of Drunken Smash, aren't you, by putting it third in slot? Yeah, my idea was if you have the plus 10 there, and it works in Red Rain situation too because... 
mounting is plus 10. But if you have the plus 10 there, then the, the early duck is not possible. And then the mounting is the faint putt. And then it loops back to the hook, right? So if I land it on hit, then yeah. I get the hook. If I land it on block, okay. then I get the mounting. And if I faint it and you move, then I get the punish. You know, there's also a case for hook spinning high kick, which I know you've tried before. I really don't like that in Forsaken. Then don't do it. You have to be up for the, like, there are certain problems with that stance. I mean, every every stance has certain strengths and weaknesses, and you have to be willing to accept those as part of your same reason I don't use. Same reason I don't like the reset spinning. The reason I don't use hook spinning. I, I feel like I have to do hook bouncing way more often, and it feels like I'm losing utility of it. It makes it makes me feel like it's very easy to have it not be present. 